as you hear that jingle, it is court in session. And we have a different format this time. We say that the Bay Bay basketball, local basketball is starting on Sunday. So we're here to do a preview of some of the teams and you know, make some comments, uh, upset some people. Um, <laughs> but uh, we are trying to keep the upset people down to a minimum. Right? Right. So these seven teams in, in the Bay Bay competition, Premier League, um, it's unfortunate that Warriors wasn't able to get a team, make it eight. So there are seven teams. Obviously, no one will get relegated, and somebody will come up from the lower division. However, the seven teams are. We have the Cavaliers, Spartans, Pinelands, the Schoolboys, City, uh, Lakers, and Bulls. And we have some player movement over the, um, well, over the last three years. Uh, <laughs> we have some significant player movement. And yeah. we'll start with Station Hill. Station Hill have, they acquired a, a, a number of young people. But the, the real acquisitions for them were Brandon Ruck mm -hmm. and John Hunt. Now, yeah. I really thought Ruck is, once Ruck head is, is there, meaning yes. if he's tuned in and focused, he can be a very good player, good player on defense. He hustles yeah. and he's a very good rebounder. Dijon Hunt, I thought. Um, last year when I saw him in the club challenge, I thought he was one of the top point guards in the club challenge. Uh, he shot the ball well, he passed the ball well, he made a lot of good decisions. My only problem with him is not sure this is like his third club. So I'm really not sure if he's really settled. And uh, hopefully he will settle in the Cavs and uh, show what he's worth. But to me, he's a, a fairly decent player. Um, yeah. I, I noticed that they have also brought up, well, one of their young, exciting players, Gavin Phillips. Um, yeah. I saw him in, on the 19, and he was. Yeah. He looked, you know, really, he was he like, looked really good. Above the rest. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I think, too, um, one of the like two, two key players for, for, for Cavs is usually um, Joel, obviously, and, um, and Saeed. I don't, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, I don't see Jamai. Puckering on the register, so I don't think he's playing this year. No, he's yeah, not. yeah. So like strength, Cavs, Cavs are always like one of those teams that, that are physical. Uh, do, do rely on their defense, you know, thing, right? But I always thought that one of their weaknesses was was shooting. I kind of like shot shot creation. Um, they had a little bit of it when Shakosi was here, and as you said, Dijon was shooting well during the tournament. So hopefully he 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 can bring that a little bit to that team. And Brandon Rook, he kind of fits. Cavs are more of those wings that like to attack the basket and, and things. So he kind of fits in there. Um, hopefully, he should be a seamless fit, too. Yeah. Um, then there's the Spartans. No, the Spartans really like to took an uh, axe to their roster. <laughs> because the roster is a brand new roster. However, they are still uh, being led by the ignem, ign, ign, ignomatic. Ignomatic. <laughs> and very energetic. <laughs> Theo Greenwich. Yes, sir. And he is uh, basically how he goes, the Spartan goes. So yeah. that will not probably not change. Yeah. Um, I think that he, I, sometimes I think he gets carried away a little, but apart mm -hmm. from that, he's very aggressive and he will do well in this, you know, in this tournament. Um, yeah. He probably will get some high scores. I don't know how many games he will win, though. But yeah, will, that's. That that, that, like, like that's the only thing is like you have Tio, but it's like who's your other score consistent scoring threat? Like, like it's like almost if you shut down Tio, then that might be it. I don't know if somebody could come out of the woodworks and 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 shock us, but as far as we know, it's just it's Tio mainly. So yeah, uh, well, we'll see we'll what see. happens. <laughs> Actually, there's Spartans, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Um, then there's Pinelands. Pinelands uh, basically have back their same team, basically. Uh, they added though Anton Lawrence. And yeah. I always thought that he was a decent point guard. Um, but I also don't know if he's, he's one of those players that you feel should have been further. Yeah. But yet he's not. He has all the tools, 
but I don't know. But he has not really shown taking that. Or right. like taking that, that that next step. Yeah, one of those weird <laughs> weird things. Like you could see the talent. He's quick. He, he's athletic. You know, he could finish. You know, he could hit shots. It's like, but like, so why is it? <laughs> like, yeah, honestly, yeah. I, I yeah, there's, don't know. there's something. Yeah. You know, you, you, I can't put my hand on it. I, yeah, I can't. I, I, but that's a nice pickup, though. Yeah, but that was a good pickup for them because yeah. Bull is not. Uh, sorry, Jeremy Gill. They don't want to. Um, you know, <laughs> there's any problems on my podcast. Uh, but <laughs> Gil, he, he is he is aging now. I don't think he can keep up with the pace that they will want to play at. So I think I think getting somebody like Anton Lawrence is a good pickup for them. Yeah. Then there's the school boys. The school boys are just a I number see, yeah. of young players, and they will have it very difficult in this tournament. This is gonna be a tough year. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I think of all the teams that suffered through COVID, they suffered the most. Yes. Uh, because a lot of their players went overseas and yeah, uh, and you know, join uh, to all knows, yeah, uh, to all right. So they will be basically starting over. So mm-hmm. I expect they will be, you know, fairly decent. They they got um in their lineup is Caleb Gaskin. He was yes, the MVP uh, school I league. Think, uh, yeah. Yeah, but school league is a totally different thing than Premier League. Boy, like, yeah. This is, you know, this is a step real far up. Yeah. So, I expect they will, they will be there and thereabouts, but winning the game, winning games, are, you know, is not, will not be their issue. They will try to get their people ready for next season. If, if yeah, their, their, their thing should be trying to get as much experience as yeah. they can and, like, don't necessarily worry about winning, per se. Yeah. And then there's City. Mm. Um, I want to be very kind to City. Um, I noticed they uh, on their roster now. There's Adrian Stewart is back. Yeah, um, I don't know how many games he will play, but uh, he, I I think he played with them in in 2020, the the, the last year that um before COVID. I think that season. I think he actually played one or two games with them too. Okay. So he's back, and City is back, and City basically is probably the most experienced, and I want to be kind to them, the most experienced team in the um, in the Premier League, <laughs> having people that play Premier League when they play. So, um, so right now they are the they are the most experienced team. I think they have some issues for winning some games too. I, I I think they will be able to hang with people probably in the first two quarters. But yeah. after especially that, the younger teams, yes. Yeah. After that, I think they're going to struggle because it will not be, you know, uh, by the time will not be coming to them. Let me put yeah. it. Yeah. However, I don't. You know, they they experience. They got some some tricks. So I don't want to upset anyone, and they I have to play them, and then they I get a little extra elbows or whatever. So you know, I be just said the experience. Like you feel. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Experience. Experience. They're experience. Right. You know, Right, right, right. Then is Lakers. Um, Lakers, they lost. Well, they lost Rook. Right. Um, they've added some some pieces. I'm not sure if if those pieces will get them over the hump. However, but, but, I know they get back Keith. Yeah, Keith is back. Um, Justin Bramo, he will now be turning up for the Lakers. Yeah. And right now, I think he is probably. Um, you know, one of the top players will be one of the top young players in the in the island. Yeah. So I expect that they would do they they have championship pedigree, but they have not really won anything within the last three years or so. And yeah. they are in rebuilding mode, a revamp roster. So uh, we'll see how it goes. The first game is going to be a very tough game, but we'll see how it goes with their roster. Um their roster is a rebound roster. And we'll see how, how it works. They still have Keith and Mark Bridgman is still there, and Ricardo yeah. Jabba, he's he's still there. But yeah. um, they have added Jonathan Dotton, and I think I think Dotton I think Dotton can be like one of the top fours in in the country. Um, I just think he has needs to be focused and yeah. work um, for his work. Uh, I've seen him practicing. He looks really good. So we'll see how it goes when it starts because, you know, practice is not games. 
a lot of people when they were so blow, you know, there's you know, it's a pair. Yeah. But I'm not saying that about him because I think he will have a good year. But yeah. Le- Le- Lakers got a, a a nice blend of like some some young players and then some of the older guys still that 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 can contribute. You still got um Anand at, at point guard. He he's like in the middle. Like he's not as old as as Keith and Mar and and then, but he's not as young as like Bramo and like so, some of the other. But he he's like in, in the middle. Then you got Bramo and um as as the young guy and then but you still got Mar and Keith and um and and Howard and Mar actually plays a, a fairly important part for, for Lakers. I feel like when Mar is playing well, I think that Lakers kind of go to another level. Like right? he's kind of like that guy that just does everything for yeah. them. He rebounds, yeah. he kick pussy pace and do all that. Stuff. Yeah, he shoots trees, he rebounds. Yep. Yeah, so he's he's he he'll be a good uh, um once he's in good shape, yeah. uh, Lakers should be in good shape as well. And finally. The Bulls, uh, yes. yes, the reigning champions. We have to say the reigning champions because this yes, is sir. not the yes, sir. club challenge. So there's basically have their same team, um, led by Aki Marsh, who is probably the best player in the island. Well, he was he was before COVID. We didn't see what happens <laughs> after COVID. Um, uh, they still have the basically their same team. They still have Raheem Gibbons at the top and. Raheem Gibbons and Andrew Eiffel and, and Marsh in the middle. And then got some fellow named Keelan Phillips, who sometimes <laughs> it be decent, but we don't uh, that's know. That's crazy. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how the birds go. Uh, I think I look, um not obviously spreading um and so that information level, but um yeah, they didn't have Keelan sounds very talking with some here first. Oh, uh, bars for the for the for, for, for the club challenge, but we are back this season. Uh, you might not start the every season, but we can definitely be there during the season. Uh, also we are uh, King with Jamar King. Yeah, um, he he is playing with us this year, and yeah, it's probably still the, the same team from last year. So it's just some slight internal growth and, you know we're ready to defend our title because you know yes. yeah you know this yeah i just, I just want to say one thing, one yes. thing. And i'm trying to stir name but you know a certain a certain club in um where it is princess princess to road or something uh Princess Avenue, you mean princess yeah yeah so you know they, they they think that they because they won the club challenge like you know they're defending i, I had to tell them even this season it's like no that's that's not Premier League. so y'all yeah. are not the defended champions they're no, not we defending. are defending the defending champion yeah. yes you Depends won something that, but yeah you know. depends on the premier league you know is the you know. Bulls. and yeah there's no there's no um discussion about that yeah. <laughs> there's no discussion <laughs> Right, yeah. and then we get to the games on Sunday. Sure. Right. So, what's the first game again? The um, game is I think it's Spartans the and, and the Spartans. Spartans, yeah. Right. So, Spartans. what we'll do from now onwards, instead mm-hmm. of remember we usually do our thing with the NBA, but now we'll do our thing with the BAB. Yes, right. sir. So the first game is the Spartans and the schoolboys. What? Mm-hmm. It's hurtful to pick a pick a winner, but. <laughs> so who do you who do you go with there, Keelan? And this like picking you know, the Spurs and the Rockets. It's like damn, you gotta pick a winner. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go with the Spartans. I'm gonna go with Spartans. Yeah, I think the Spartans, the Spartans will, will get over. I think the, the school boys gonna be a little nervous at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, the Spartans still got Theo and still got a couple of people that played Premier League before. So I yeah. expect the Spartans should win that game. Yeah. And then we have uh the middle game is supposed to be a real cracker jacker. <laughs> Is Pinelands versus the New York yeah. Cavaliers, yeah, sure. um, right? And this should be a real good litmus test for Pinelands um, because I think the Cavaliers are uh, have well once they they, they integrate the, the players that they got that mm-hmm. they acquire well, then I think that it should be a very interesting game. But I don't yeah. ever write out Pinelands because Pinelands is one of those teams that play to the end. So 
Who you will pick? Pilots or Pilots uh, or I I I can pick Pine because um I believe last time Pine and Cavs played Pine Pine dealt with them fairly easy in the second half. I think that uh Pilots offense is in my opinion the best in in the league. I think that that, that Pilots has the best offense. In the league, so I think that gives some team some, some trouble, and I think that they have less players to integrate into like their system, whereas like um, Cavs got two two new maybe important pieces. Yes, Anton may play an important role, but for the most part, we know who it is. We, we, we are playing. We know it's definitely. We know it's Rash. You know it, it, it's Darren Egg and Junior Charles. So so those, those guys been playing for years. So I can pick playing. In this first game, another meeting, you know, it might be a little different depending on how the season goes. I can pick. Okay. First All right. So, so you know that I will pick Cavaliers, and I'm picking Cavaliers because you pick fine. Uh, there's no, there's <laughs> no, no, no real, <laughs> there's no real, there's no real reason. No, you pick analysis, and, <laughs> analysis no, no, no. It's, just, it's just you pick. You pay uh pain on it picking cavaliers. Yeah, we can all pick the same things all day. Very boring. Very boring. Um yeah. however, we say also said that we will not pick um games that involve both um Pinelands and sorry, both Lakers and Bulls, because we don't want you to pick Bulls and I will be picking Lakers. So a humble uh, 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 you pick you pick Bulls and pick Lakers just oh, okay, okay. <laughs> No, 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 Just go, Alan Pender, just to give us a roundup of the NBA. You know, there was a lot of drama, you know, coming up to the trade deadline and all sorts of things. So we're here to hear what exactly what happened. Alan, the floor is yours. Well, as you know, the East, well, the West is very tight. Uh, the Nuggets and the Grizzlies are really the two best teams in the West right now, but the rest of the West is like four games separated for a pace and 10th place. So two teams decided to make some major moves. Uh, the Mavs decided to bring in Kyrie Irvin and the Suns wanted to bring in Kevin Durant. They're hoping that those two players in particular can help move them out of the big pot in the West. And I think they're looking to get a better seed coming out in the West, coming to the playoffs and hope, hopefully they can win the West. Yeah, well, I, 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 I would like to know if, um... If uh, Luca is, is allergic to sage, because you know a lot of strange things can happen now in, 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 in Dallas, right? <laughs> well, yeah. it, it, it helps. It helps the, the games very local was in play, and they, they managed to do well. But I think they're still having some. It's going to take time for them to be able to mesh together on the court to see if that duel really works out well or not. They, they may need more or less sage. We have to wait and see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we said the series really come up. Uh, and then there's Durant. I mean, he's still hurt, but he's now in the in Phoenix. 
Do you think that that changed the dynamic of the West? And you may even say me like. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it moves uh, the Suns probably to, to the front. I, at least on paper, that looks like the, the best looking team. But I mean, the unfortunately, games play on the court, so you have to see if it translates. But the way how that team is built, uh, the Chris Paul, um, it, it, it looks with Booker as well. It looks like they should be good. They did lose a lot of defense, so unfortunately. But we, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I think that should help move them. If you could score one sixty, if you could score one sixty, I only you don't give really have to worry about you. You know, it goes. You don't give up one sixty one, then you good. <laughs> but then we got the East. No, there wasn't much drama in the East, really. Um, well, besides the fact that Brooklyn, um, like clear shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brooklyn was the contender, and Brooklyn, well, they're they're definitely already running there now. There's lots of good players there, but. Yeah, I don't see them being a top team or being a contending team at all. They will probably just be a little in seed and you'll see how, how, how far they drop. But the cream of the, of the East is definitely South the Bucks and the South Sixers. And the Bucks and Sixers definitely did get a little stronger on the trade deadline. Alan, I, I want to ask you a question. Are you surprised that the Raptors didn't make any more moves besides getting Yaka Porto back? Extremely surprised. We are identified <laughs> Rogers. As one of those teams watch, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we, I think everyone was looking for them because they have a lot of good players and the team isn't doing very well. So we figured they were in a prime position to sell. But it seems on the site thinks the team still has some potential. He thinks that they can recover from the injuries and there's enough talent there that could potentially make up the off push. Uh, I'm not as confident, but I, I think he's looking to see if that could potentially happen. And if it doesn't, well, the players and the deals will still be there in the summer. Those damn ambos, I know, I know. Well, I know we that <laughs> is the NBA from our guru, uh, Alan Pender, the major scout. So right now, the court is adjourned. <laughs>